But it's 649 this morning. I want to get right to your news in a flash happening right now. A Belvedere business with ties to the family suffering from that tragic, deadly house fire out of Boone County now collecting donations. Five people dying at that scene Monday. One victim, a 21 year old mom working at Tom and Jerry's out of Belvedere. Diapers, baby formula, clothes all needed right now. You can drop these off at Tom and Jerry locations. Meantime, officials say a different fire at a Beloit apartment complex is considered arson. They've investigated the fire since last Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. over on 6th Street. No one was hurt, but officials look to speak with anyone who may have been loitering nearby. Well, this morning, Rockford police investigating after a car crashes into a building. This was Tuesday afternoon over on 18th Avenue near Kishwaukee Street. So no word if anybody was hurt. And turning to the crisis overseas, the Biden administration now turning to other countries to help replace Russian oil. White House officials now in open talks with Venezuela and allowing the country to sell oil in the international market. And happening right now, Belvedere Assembly Plant now extending its shutdown for another week. Workers currently are off. Solanta is saying the new extension starting Monday, Carmaker blaming the closure on various supply chain issues. And looking ahead, North America's largest manufacturer of steel pipes and tubes is headed for Rochelle. Zeckelman Industries is currently redeveloping two buildings on Ritchie Court at the I-88 and I-39 interchange. Officials say this will create between 100 and 150 jobs on campus. They hope to open this fall. That's our news in a flash.